And now, storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. It is snowing right now. Storm tracker radar showing snow not too far from Rexburg off towards the southeast. Looks like a little bit of rain near town. And we've had a little bit of snow just south of St. Anthony over part of the sand dunes. And this area of snow stretches around Tetonia all the way down to Driggs over the Tetons, Pine Creek Pass getting snow. But for the rest of us, it is dry out there and it's going to stay dry for about a day or so. We have high pressure building in, so that high pressure system will give us dry weather tomorrow, warm us up just a tad bit. And with high pressure starting to build in, the wind will finally relax. But we're looking at this, at least the possibility of this for Thursday. That means a chance of rain, but this will bring a warm front across the state, and that warm front will jump our temperatures up a good to, uh, 10 degrees. So tomorrow, we're in the 50s. Thursday, we're in the 60s, and a slight possibility you may need your umbrella, huh? I know, can't always be perfect around here, can it? Storm tracker showing low temperatures tonight, dipping way down in the 20s, so we got a hard freeze tonight. 27 for a low in Pocatello, 26 for a low in Blackfoot. You gotta wait for that wind to really settle down. We're expecting light winds late tonight, early morning. The low in Island Park down to 18, and all these temperatures you see here overnight are colder than average for this time of year. We should stay a bit warmer. 12 for a low in Yellowstone, 17 in Jackson. 10 degrees warmer than that, though, over in Lava Hot Springs and near 30 for a low in Midland City. Now, tomorrow, we didn't even hit 50 for most of us today. Well, tomorrow will definitely be in the 50s, mid-50s, as a matter of fact. 56 at Pocatello, 54 for high in Blackfoot. Looks like the high near 50 in Soda Springs, and we'll be about 51 in Rexburg. 57 will be the high up at Salmon, 54 in Chalice. Future Tracker, start off with a relatively clear sky, a few clouds around for good measure. Looks like a little rain, snow midday over the Tetons, but basically clouds will thicken tomorrow and into tomorrow night. And Thursday, we have a chance of rain, but hey, who cares about that? At least we'll hit a high of 61, huh? Friday, we're 67. And look at that weekend, highs in the 70s. Wow, can't wait. <laughs> Partly sunny on Monday, and there's maybe a partly chance we could get some wet weather around here, but who cares about that? Idle Falls seven day forecast. All right, we'll take 61 for Thursday. We'll definitely take the weekend weather. We got dry weather both days, highs in the upper 60s. Rexburg seven day forecast. A little warmer for Thursday, but there's that chance of rain. But back to dry weather Friday, and that dry weather sticks around all weekend. Finally, Monday, a chance of rain with temperatures still holding steady the, with highs in the 60s. Teton area. Well, we're still kind of cool tomorrow. It'll look warm. It'll feel warmer on Thursday, but it may not look warmer. There is a chance of rain, but we got sunshine galore that will take us clear through Sunday. Highs will reach into the upper 50s. And for the Central Mountains, mid 50s tomorrow, upper 50s Thursday, a chance of rain. Look at those upper 60s for Saturday. Could see some rain Sunday and Monday, but at least we'll still be in the 60s. So if we get anything at all, it'll be rain, not snow. <laughs>